Welcome again then, and we hope you're ready for another fantastic session as the teams prepare to unleash their cars for qualifying at the Canadian Grand Prix. All right, Canadian Grand Prix it is. Uh, I'm actually feeling good about the car for this uh, race. We completely uh, put in a new engine, so uh, uh, we're running the new engine, so we're definitely going to have a little bit more horsepower. It, it's not that we have more horsepower, it's just that other teams have kind of, uh, like, they've already put in their uh, engines, some haven't, and a lot of them still have uh, a lot of wear uh, that we don't really have since we're in a new engine right now. Uh, so, and this is a track where it really matters how good your engine is, and so, you know, just that little bit of uh, wear for the other people that we don't have right now is going to help us a lot. So, uh, I mean, I'm feeling confident about this track. I think it can get uh, probably 7th, uh, considering that's the best of the rest uh, out of the top 6, so we'll see. Uh, so yeah, we're really hoping that we can get a good time here, and I definitely think it's possible. Uh, Q1, it's not that hard to get out of Q1 right now, at least at this current moment in time. Uh, so yeah, P7 it is, so yeah. So, uh, qualifying session here, just showing in a lap here at the, uh, Q2 here. So, uh, once again, as long as we can just put in a decent lap, just with the way our engine is right now, we're gonna be able to get into the top 10, uh, fairly easily, actually. Uh, but we just have to make sure that we are on the Hypersoft tire. So, two weeks in a row, actually. Uh, last, uh, yeah, I'm long ago. <laughs> That uh, was so, uh, not cool. We'll see if this tire is going to actually handle the heat or handle the heat of Canada. As you see, we're kind of behind Sergio Perez. Like, it's kind of annoying actually because he's giving us bad air. I actually almost ran into him right here. Uh, good thing that did not happen. Uh, so, uh, we did get a little bit slowed up there. As you can see, we are a tenth behind the McLarens. And I do knock that front wing, uh, which is not helpful in finishing this final part of the track. Uh, although, like, you know, this part's a straight, but I'm talking about the Wall of Champions here, this next little, uh, little corner here. Uh, definitely without the best of downforce had to uh, let off a little bit there, so unfortunately that puts us into P3, uh, but it ends up being, like, P12. Uh, so last qualifying session here, I'm just hoping we can get 7th place uh, for qualifying, and it turns out we get P9. So, uh, that puts us right behind the Haas drivers, I think. The St. Lawrence River here in Montreal for the Canadian Grand Prix. The event first moved to a variant of this track back in 1978. It was won by none other than Gilles Villeneuve, the first Canadian to ever win his home race, and in whose honor the circuit would be renamed. And watch out for overtaking into the hairpin and the final chicane. Let's talk about Morris. They recently gave an interview with a less than glowing evaluation of the team's performance. What's your opinion on that? I think the fans always find it refreshing to find a driver who speaks their mind, but it's generally not a great idea to go around bad-mouthing the people who employ you and build your car. These are the people you want to keep motivated and on your side. Uh, so yeah, I don't even know when I said that was bad. Oh, uh, so yeah, we're starting here. P8, actually, I believe uh, someone had a grid penalty. Not sure who it is. Um, so hoping for a good start here. Alonso tries to get us up on the inside. That's not happening over here today. And uh, we stay in the P7 in the corner, just showing you here. Look at that. What is Alonso doing, man? Come on, man. And we almost actually run into a. Uh, Perez, I believe that was. Yes, that was Perez. Uh, so continuing on here, lap two. The thing about this track, it's all kind of about defending uh, what you're already at. Uh, so the fact that I'm in P6 right now, we're gonna go to lap five here. Still in P6, uh, or effectively P6. Uh, I think someone might take their pit stop, but Vettel actually is having a mechanical problem, probably in reliability tries to squeeze us all the way to the outside there and we're just gonna late break gonna give him space on the outside and on the inside of this corner unfortunately gave him a bit too much space we cannot get the move done but right now you know i never say this but we're actually faster than the ferrari or at least we're faster than Vettel right now 
uh, containing on here. Lot 10, we've already taken our pit stop. I didn't really want to show you. Uh, that, and we knock our front wing on the same corner we did qualifying in. So that is really going to affect us here. We did jump Vettel and Raikkonen in the pits. Uh, but Raikkonen here trying to get us on the outside. I do not want that to happen, and we keep it clean there. Uh, not really clean, I should say. I kind of knocked them off there. Uh, but he went for a move that wasn't there, so... Only two laps to go here, still in P4, but Raikkonen's going to come up. I'm going to try to get the inside here. Hoping not to hit the wall champions, as we continue on here. Final lap of the Grand Prix. All going down this, I'm using all the fuel, all the ERS I can use, putting into the highest mixture. Uh, overtake is actually quicker than hot lap. Uh, so, very quick here. Uh, where on the MPH, it's, it's okay, it's 65%, it's not the worst thing, we're losing a little bit of power, uh, but it's nothing like too crazy at this point, so Raikkonen's only a tenth behind us, he is really going to try this move, we do have uh, a broken front wing obviously, Hamilton with the win, and he tries to go up the inside, but I'm going to stick to as much curbs as I can, and uh, Raikkonen actually gets wrecked there. Uh, unfortunate for him. I don't even know what happened. I think he kind of hit the curb or something. I'm not sure. And Perez here is actually messed up, and I was not paying attention. I almost ran to the back and ended the race uh, for myself. Uh, but yeah, he is now lapped. Something happened to him. I'm really not sure. Probably some engine thing. As we are at that point of the season, and we're going to go ahead and lock down P for our best ever finish. That is crazy. P4 in the Toro Rosso. Job, my friend, top job. I was a bit worried about this one at the start of the weekend, but you pulled through. Thank you. And now let's take a look at the driver's See a Gasly getting a, a point there. Hamilton, uh, we, yeah, we didn't have the quickest of laps. And, uh, yeah, seventh place right now. Great work out there today. How do you think it went? Things look close between you and your rival for a bit, but you came out on top, didn't you? I did come out on top, that is sure, but I'm going to go with the one on the right here. Your team must be ecstatic with how you're performing. I'm going for smiles. You were cutting your way through the field during the race. Uh, probably because of our engine, so I'll go with the power unit one. It looks like you're schooling your rivals at the moment. <laughs> I'll go with the showman on this one. The, uh, yeah, that one. Great, well that's everything. Alright, so, power unit, we do need to work on this. Oh. Prices are better now because of what we said in our interviews. So we're going to go for the cylinder head, a major upgrade here. Uh, durability wise, probably go for the gearbox considering that that's very important. Uh, make sure that is reliable enough. Um, so yeah.